All right, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to filter through our photos and do searches. Um, these can be custom searches or they can be searches based on attributes that you have added to like the keyword list or um, ways that you've rated the photos. Uh, so let's start over here to the left hand side. You can see right now I have under the catalog, I have all photos selected. So what you're seeing here in the thumbnail view are all the photos that we have in this current library. So another thing you can do is you can select just the folder itself. So whether you have the folder selected or you have all the photographs selected, you can always narrow down within those groups. So for example, if you have all of your photographs selected and you wanna just show um, photos that are, have four stars, there's a couple ways of doing this. We can go up under uh, library and then we can filter by several things. So if we wanted to do ratings, we can go ratings, we can do do by four stars. Um, I have it turned on down here at the bottom right hand corner. So let me see. Now we go up to the library and we can rate it by stars this way. So if I click on four stars, now you'll see that within all my photographs, these are the ones that have had um, uh, four stars or above okay if you want to make it more specific you can right now we've got greater than so it's it's four and above okay um, let's say we wanted let's go back to our all photographs and we'll turn the filter off now let's say we want to um, organize it to where it's just the green well down here you'll see that we have the color ratings right here and if I click on green we can actually make a selection that out of all the photos in the entire catalog, these are the ones that have been color coded green. All right, that's just one way that you can search through your photos. Um, another way that you can search through your photos is to do it based on keywords or attributes. Um, there's, again, several ways you can go about this. One of the easier ways is to look at your keyword list over on the right hand side of the screen you'll notice like for example if i want to search um, and pull up a collection of all the fall photos that i've taken i can look at this keyword right here fall colors and all the way over to the right there's a little arrow and this is telling me that i have 16 photos so if you want to see those 16 photos you can just click on that little arrow and it will pull it up just like that. You'll also notice at the top that it's actually opened up our library filter uh, dialog box and we have our entire list here also. So if we wanted to see just the uh, photos that were taken of the old capital, you can click that. Um, location shoots, there you go. Another way to kind of launch this dialog box at the top is, let me uh, clear out of this. Okay, now we're back in with no filters. Um, we've got our entire catalog selected. Now keep in mind that if I just had um, like one folder selected, for exam example, if I had Samantha's folder selected, yeah, I can do, I can narrow it down by ratings like that. Um, or, um, you know, I can search within that folder, but I want to pull off all the photos that are within my entire collection. So I'm going to go to all photographs. So another way to get that dialog box is if you go down here in your little filters drop down menu, you can actually pull up your location columns or default columns. Um, you can actually search for a camera info. Um, so if you're shooting with multiple cameras, um, you can actually pull up a specific camera. So we'll just click on default. And you'll see here that you know some of my photos were shot with the Canon 5D um, Mark III, and some were shot with the Panasonic GX8. Um, and then you know it gives you a bunch of choices that you can start to narrow it down. You can narrow it down by date, by camera, lens, label. Um, if we look at some of the other columns, um, we can narrow it down by location. Uh, let's see camera information um, so here's like 
the focal length, the lenses that I used, um, the camera, and then, you know, you can even look to see if the flash fired or didn't fire. So there are really endless ways of searching through your photographs to create a collection. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.